Um, well, thank you very much for having me. Um, I'm going to break this up into three parts, the past, the present, and the future. In terms of the past, if I was addressing the court, as I did for 15 years when I was in the Supreme Court, the Industrial Court, the Federal Court, the High Court, I'd say, Your Honour, the case is pretty clear. Uh, for 16 years, under a rotten government, we had nothing that was done. When we inherited government in 2011, uh, we were at the bottom of the birdcage, and that is a fact. When we inherited government in 2011, uh, we had the lowest uh, economic growth. That is a fact. We had one of the highest unemployment rates. That is a fact. We had promise after promise after promise in relation to railway lines, nothing delivered. That is a fact. We had schools that were shut down. That is a fact. Peter Board shut down and sold. We had uh, Ride High, again, shut down, closed. We had demountables. That is a fact. These are all facts. And we had debt, deficit, and a $30 billion black hole in terms of uh, infrastructure uh, delivery. Facts, all facts. It would be easy in many ways if when we inherited government, or when we won government in 2011, there was a, a, a clean earth, a salted earth uh, ground upon which to work. Because then you could get on to the job straight away and start uh, rebuilding you know, restoring what you need to do straight away. But we didn't. When we got into government, there were booby traps everywhere. Who remembers the death and disability scheme? We had to fix that up. Who remembers CTP? It took us years to fix that up because it's complicated. Had to fix that up. Uh, the wages expansion. It was way, it was, it, was, it was one of the worst things we've ever seen. We had to put the cap at 2.5% on politicians on all public service to get the wages under control. All of these reforms that we had to do to get the budget back into position. First four years, we got the budget back into position, started the planning process. This current four years is all about you know, starting the construction and starting the build. And where are we at the present? I'll bring you to the present. Uh, we have the North West Metro that is 99.9% .9 finished. We're about to open it up in May. Uh, we have got, around my local area, schools being rebuilt uh, literally out of the ground. Smalls Road, we had to fight with the community to save it because they wanted to sell it off. We've saved it. Have a look at it now. It looks like a coliseum. The, the pillars are coming out of the, uh, out of the uh, earth. Kent Road Primary School. People, talk, people before me were talking, not a wood statements, no infrastructure. We'll drive around. Kent Road Primary School, that looks like Kent Road uh, University by the time that's finished, and that's essentially a rebuild of the school. Uh, Denison East, not only are we doing major upgrades, Royal Life Saving, putting in a, a community pool there at $5 million. West Ride, same. And what about down at Metabank? We're putting $154 million into the TAFE to make one of the nation leading TAFEs and part of an education precinct, including a high school or primary school. We're putting $30 million into netball facilities and inboard, uh, indoor court facilities over at the Marsden site. We're going to open up more open space. Why can we do this? Because we've managed the budget. And because we've managed the budget, we've got the lowest unemployment rate, not just in the last five years, in history. We are putting money to rebuild Wright Hospital. No other party is doing that. Politics is local. You want to rebuild Road Hospital? You want these schools to be built? You want us to widen Victoria Road? Do you want us to get the tape up and, and running? All of these things we can and we will do because we can manage the budget. No one else is doing it. Thank you.